How's it going everybody? Today we're going to do part two of our shifter alignment and what that involves is getting the shift rod set up properly. Very important, very crucial step. If this isn't right, fortunately you won't be able to do much with the engine bracket. You won't be able to do much with the ESA system or in some cases you may get part of it to work but not all of it. So start off from a good baseline. This is um, where it all happens right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and separate the upper and lower units. Pretty easy to do. If you've never done this before, you just need the um, repair kit for it. Typically it's two seals. We'll talk about that. And if you need any part numbers, just ask in the description below and I'll show you how to do that. So let me show you some of the um, bolts you're gonna need to be removing first of all here. Okay, so we got two 916 bolts. There's two that um, are on this side, two on the other. You also have the zincs as well. I believe that's a 7 16 And uh, that will expose the shift rod cover. You'll need to remove those two. Then coming down here, you'll have to remove the fin first. I believe this is 7 16 And then we have a variety of different sizes, everything from 9 16 to 5 8 And I believe there's a half inch for the zinc. The zinc in the middle doesn't technically have to be removed. You can actually just remove these, these two, but this one has to come off first. So uh, long story short, minimum of three on this one. Two 916 on this side, flip it around and take those off on the other side and then these, and that will allow you to uh, get to the next part here. Okay, so you see I got the fan. Now it's going to expose this. I believe this is a uh, 9 16 so you'll need that off. And I believe that's a 5 8 I may have that backwards. Um, but yeah, go ahead and remove uh, those two. And that'll get you started here. Yeah, definitely 9 16 All right, so we got these two off, 9 16 and 5 8 And like I said, the zinc in the middle, that can you can, you can keep that there. Okay. And you'll see, like I said here, the two zincs. Go ahead and remove those two bolts. Okay, and now I got the two out. You'll have to lift up the uh, out drive a little bit because it kind of holds it there. And I can't hold this with one hand, but that's okay. Um, just remove the last two of your 9 16 and then we'll start the whole uh, wiggle process to get these two separated. Okay, so here's what we got so far. We got the fin off, we got the two, uh, uh, or sorry, the four bolts that are 916 to hold the upper and lower unit together. We've got these two that are found in the back, um, and then our two bolts for the zinc. That's going to be all to get this separated. From there, if you like, this, this is not a uh, sealing surface, meaning if you wanted to, don't use that. Um, if you want to use like a flathead in between here to kind of help open this, just be careful. You see, like right here, kind of marred up the surface. These are soft. Uh, pieces of metal here so you will um, you will mar that up if you're not careful and you know it's, it's all about looks right so yeah just take your screwdriver here and then you'll see this gap get uh, larger as you're separating if this is the first time you've removed it this is going to be really tough uh, if you see how I have it orientated right now this is not um, advisable to do it this way because uh, it puts a lot of strain on the seals what you want to do is flip it upright as if it were uh, on your boat and um, try to have someone maybe secure and hold the bottom by both of these sides while you wiggle the top. If you're a one-man show, um, what you could do is lean this up against something and then just wiggle the top and then the weight of this will keep down and then the weight of this you'll have to hold yourself. Um, but that's the easiest way. Um, just so you're aware, this is probably going to take you about 10, 15 minutes to separate these two. So keep that in mind when you're removing this. Don't, don't get in a hurry. Uh, don't try to force everything apart here with like a pry bar or something like that. Just take your time and it'll come apart. All right, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And then I'm, afterwards, I will go ahead and set the upper and lower unit upright so we can get uh, working on the shifter. The other thing you need to remember is... As these are coming apart, taking, um, you can't really do it now because it's, it's hitting against the back of the shift rod. But as the upper and lower units are separating, turn this to clear it. Otherwise, 
this part of the shift rod will hit right here and it won't allow you to um, to separate them so super easy just turn it as you're uh, getting this up there and uh, if you forget um, yeah good luck probably gonna cause some damage there but there you go um, go ahead and get separating uh, these two units and we'll go to the next step okay so you'll see here we got the upper and lower unit separated um, just so you're aware these seals are good to replace at this point in time um, also there's another seal that goes right there that one's found in there good one to replace as well take your uh, dry shaft out make sure that isn't stuck or there's no issues there just some things to think about while you got this apart so this is your shift rod cover so when you're measuring the height of your shift rod your overall measurement isn't from here it isn't from here as you would imagine it is from here now not necessarily from here uh, as in like right here but it's from the base if you do it from here you're wrong if you do it from there you're wrong uh, and also the top part is measured from up here so keep that in mind yeah don't measure from like inside here for example that's not where you want to go you're going to be measuring from the very top so the question is i mean if your cover seal is in good shape and condition you know do you really want to break the seal and uh you know have to get another gasket um yeah you don't have to because i'm going to show you easy way to not to do that so i've got some shift covers here already uh, these are genuine uh, omc style ones what i'm going to do here is take a few measurements with the gasket so when you're taking your measurement from uh, the cover here you can use this to determine what yours is going to be um, some people may ask you know is that that difference right this is like almost a quarter of an inch hard to see on camera but that will throw off the overall height it'll affect everything from your ESA system to the way it engages it may engage more in forward versus reverse so things you need to consider this this has to be configured right it has to be checked otherwise uh, you'll never get it forward and reverse to operate properly so yeah this this gap right here plus the, the size of the gasket will make all the difference so let's go ahead and uh, measure this real quick with the gasket and let's see what uh, we need to subtract okay so between these two, you got part number 911691 and you have 914925. Uh, they vary a little bit in terms of their thicknesses. Um, the gasket is pretty standard. What you're going to be looking at for uh, subtraction wise is 0.2550. Um, we are going to get pretty, you know, low into these thousands. So you know, just try to try to use that as your start off point. Now, I have a. Uh, Believe it or not, I have an SCI cover on mine, and I've already checked it ahead of time, and it is right on with these. So if you do have an SCI style cover like mine is here, uh, rest assured it's it's the same. So there you go. There's going to be your measurement two five five zero, and if you want that in fraction form, thirty three one twenty eighth. Good luck with that. That's pretty crazy. Um, there's metric. And there's our standard size. So you're. You're going to be pretty good with that measurement now let's go over what the height is supposed to be from the base here to the top all right everybody now for a quick headache so check it out your height what is supposed to be from the base on your new style shifty tent i'll show you what the old one looks like if you haven't seen my videos this is what the old school style looks like typically this was changed out and uh, should have been 92 should have been when these were all gone so it's kind of hard to tell which one you have uh, the way all I can tell is there's almost no slack if you have the old school style when you go to pull this up in neutral which I'm in neutral right now by the way I have a little bit of slack on that so that that's a giveaway to see if you have um, the old or new in here I was supposed to have the new in mind but uh, it, well, it is the new now, but it was the old style one. So yeah, if you're around the 92 time frame, um, yeah, double check. But here's, like I said, here's where the crazy math comes along. Here we got from the base. If you if you are taking the cover off, by the way, and the gasket, use these measurements here. 
uh, 7.207 and the old style detent. And when we're talking about the detent, I'll just leave that right there for you here. That's what we're talking about. Um, the old detent versus the new one. So that's how thick the cover was with the gasket. And then there's what I got afterwards. So if you look, I mean, they're, they're really close. Here, I converted into fraction for you. And don't worry, I didn't do the math. I just actually got it close on my micrometer and then converted it into um, fraction for you. But uh, what that says is it's just under seven. And um, actually, that's that's supposed to be a six. Don't, uh, don't read that. It's a six. Um, I'm going to try to do this left-handed. Voila, how about that? Yeah, and that's just a little, even more or less than six. So um, keep this in mind when you're when you're doing um, when you're measuring here, because you know ultimately th this is a pretty uh, pretty thick measurement. So let's say you know you're you're doing this in your backyard, right? And you're like, I don't want to use a micrometer, and I don't want to do all this. Let's just, let's just use a tape measure. Let's just pull an old-fashioned tape measure on this, and let's see how wide it is. All right, just measured it. So. There you go, a uh, quarter of an inch. So if you're doing this in your backyard and, and you're measuring it, um, just subtract a quarter inch off your, your total measurement and uh, that'll get you close. But like I said, for this, you don't need to, I mean, it, it needs to be pretty darn close. I mean, don't don't go like a quarter of an inch off and for, you know forget about this or even a half inch. Just, this needs to be pretty darn close. So what you're gonna do is this is a 5 16 and so that's a half inch. Uh, you want to isolate this with a quarter inch wrench right here to make sure this stays in place while you loosen this and then uh, we'll capture that measurement we're supposed to be at. All right, That's about it. So just under seven. I mean I'm just talking right under seven when you're measuring off of this cover. Remember the cover is about quarter of an inch and overall you need to be about 7.207 on this new style shift detent and about 7.156 on the old school. Remember, ultimately you're measuring from this side right here. Another thing you want to do before you call it good is take, put it in gear and take it, put it back in neutral, give it a little shake, make sure it's still in neutral and check your measurement again because if it's off, then you need to consider why it's off. So that's something something to keep in mind when you're going through this process here. Okay, so that's gonna be just about it. Just remember, replace these two seals in that upper seal here that lies down there. Check your dry shaft, make sure you uh, put some marine grade grease on that. Um, yeah, but that's, in a nutshell, that's it for getting your uh, shifter height alignment set. Apologize in advance for all the confusing numbers earlier, but just remember that when you're when you're looking at this, this is about a quarter of an inch or uh, 0.255 if you're using a micrometer. Uh, we got two different models. Like I said, this is an SEI on mine, so um, remember to subtract that off of your your total measurement. Um, when you're doing this otherwise um, you're not gonna be right and yeah and last thing to remember it says it right out of the OMC manual is you need to be measuring from the base and it specifically calls out do not measure from the cover all right and remember measure from up top up here so you do that you're gonna be in good shape um, try to get it as close as you can and you're gonna be in good shape uh, moving forward okay so I hope this video was good for your shifter alignment tutorial. Stay tuned for um, further parts of this video as we check out the bell crank and make sure there's uh, not a lot of drag on your shift cable, okay? So have a good one and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Have a good one.